Robbie Williams is facing a huge backlash after it was announced he will be performing in Qatar during the World Cup. Fans have fumed at news of the singer's concert, given the Gulf Kingdom's human rights record. At a press conference in Doha this week, Qatar Airways, an official World Cup partner, unveiled Robbie as one of the music acts set to play at the Qatar Live concerts. According to the airline, the Angels singer will play at Doha Golf Club on Thursday, December 8, in a gig to coincide with the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Maroon 5 and Post Malone were also reported to be playing gigs at the same venue in the days afterwards. The decision by FIFA to hold the World Cup in Qatar has been dogged with controversy, owing to Qatar's human rights record, particularly in relation to migrant workers and the LGBTQ community. Homosexuality is illegal in Qatar, with offenders facing fines and up to seven years imprisonment. Williams agents have so far failed to comment. Fans, however, have been quick to react to the reports that Williams, who played at the opening ceremony of the 2018 World Cup in Russia, would be playing in the Gulf state. The Robbie Williams FanFest page has been flooded with comments from upset fans, reports Stoke on Trent Live. Phil Dan wrote, How do fans make an official protest? For him to be pressured by his fans to be persuaded to choose not to appear would be a massive statement on behalf of all those human beings who are affected by both the construction regime there and also their attitudes in respect of other things. I'm sorry but the Qatar World Cup is wrong on many levels and I am disappointed that Robbie feels it is acceptable to so blatantly support it. I am not wishing to be anti-Robbie, and we are all naive at times, but I suggest it is a huge own goal for him. Nick Schwarden added, his opinion seems to be clear, otherwise he wouldn't appear there. It's really incomprehensible that he appears there. Kim Johansson said, I hope that's not true, while Cod Die added, that's sad, really sad and Neve Byrne said, I love him but this is disappointing.